The last phase of the Horizonte 2020 development plan is here. Launched in 2007 and aimed at transforming Equatorial Guinea into an emerging economy, the Social and Economic Development Plan, Horizonte 2020, views this small country as an ambitious gateway to both West and Central Africa, and eventually to the entire African continent. To enable the launch of products, services and even channeling investments to and from the various African markets, Equatorial Guinea has used its incomes from its hydrocarbons to become a trade and transport hub, developing its human resources and improving its good governance standards and social policies. According to the last IMF mission, the country now possesses a robust network of high-quality roads, five airports and two deep-water ports, which confirm the success of the Horizonte 2020 first phase. We have been investing heavily on this infrastructure. Now, this is very important because we have areas like we call it right now the Malabo Tomb, in which we are developing to do what we call it a one-world shop. So if you are a company and you want to establish yourself, you have one place in which you can meet all the ministry, get all your paperwork, and you immediately go to work. Next to it, we have an airport that we're doing an expansion to be able to have big carriers to come internationally. We also have a port that is being turned to be able to have more shipping. Malabo es una isla que está muy bien posicionada. Ya no hablamos de infraestructura, ya hablamos de la posición estratégica que tiene Malabo en todo el Golfo de Guinea. Eh, Malabo solo por su posición estratégica es un centro eh, neurálgico muy bien posicionado para, para situarse, aparte de como absorbedor de la carga de Guinea Ecuatorial de Malabo, como distribuidor eh, por vía marítima, evidentemente, a, a países de la zona y, de, y del Golfo de Guinea. Por otra parte, Bata, en el continente, igualmente puede absorber la carga de Bata, la carga de Guinea Ecuatorial, pero está bien posicionado gracias a la infraestructura, gracias a los operadores, gracias a las autoridades que existen, está bien posicionado para, para convertirse en una puerta a, a todo África, una puerta de, de entrada de mercancía a, a todo África. Les gens qui sont passés avant ici, quand ils retournent ici, c'est surprenant. C'est comme euh, toujours avoir une grande surprise. Euh, c'est tout à fait deux, deux mondes différents par rapport à 10 ans avant, même 15 ans avant. Euh, je pense que ça, tout ça, c'est le succès du, du pays. C'est une image... Euh, euh, Currently, Equatorial Guinea is facing challenges that were difficult to anticipate. The recent drop in oil prices, Brent crude closing the year at just over $56 per barrel, has caused severe budgetary constraints, which may involve smaller leeway for the government to continue with its development agenda. However, the drop in oil prices has only accelerated the process towards the desired economic diversification that will reduce its dependence on hydrocarbons. The government has implemented new and more compelling foreign investment avenues targeting the most dynamic productive sectors within Equatorial Guinea. In principio, nosotros pensamos explicar e informar a todos los interesados que Guinea Ecuatorial tiene una política de economía de libre mercado, lo que garantiza lo que es la seguridad y brinda de verdad oportunidades a cualquier tipo de inversor para que pueda venir a invertir en Guinea. Both the domestic infrastructure and its ports and airports have poised Equatorial Guinea as the geo-economic gateway to CMAC, the Central African Common Market, officially known as the Economic and Monetary Community of Central African States, which is also linked to the Regional Central Bank, BEAC. 
this region, expected to grow 5.8% in 2016, according to the UNDP, enables the free movement of goods and services from Equatorial Guinea to Cameroon, Gabon, Chad, Congo and Central African Republic. The privileged geographical location of Equatorial Guinea also allows for a potential linkage to other major African markets. Nuestro grupo ya ha hecho más de mil kilómetros de carretera a nivel nacional, no a nivel insular. Más de mil kilómetros de carretera. Esto es una inversión enorme para nosotros y un orgullo para nuestro grupo. El gobierno ha creado un programa que se llama, que se llama Horizonte 2020, que todos nosotros estamos involucrados a cumplir. Con esos proyectos que nos dan esos compromisos que firmamos con él, nosotros estamos dispuestos a cumplir con ese programa. Sin duda, los logros más importantes alcanzados desde la puesta en marcha del Plan Horizon 2020 pueden considerarse las infraestructuras existentes hoy en el país, así como la activación de los diferentes mecanismos para la puesta en marcha de, de las diferentes líneas de diversificación, hacer de la economía de, de Guinea Ecuatorial una economía diversificada. La principal eh, ventaja competitiva que le, que le dan las infraestructuras portuarias a Guinea Ecuatorial es que representan una opción muy válida para desarrollar una conectividad con los países en, en, del entorno y hacer de, de Guinea Ecuatorial un punto de referencia en el sector logístico. El año 2015 va a ser un año fundamental para los puertos de Guinea Ecuatorial. Las obras que se han acometido tanto en Malabo como en Bata están a punto de ser finalizadas y ahora es un momento clave para el desarrollo y para el futuro de los puertos de Guinea Ecuatorial. Las autoridades competentes se están preparando para ello y están desarrollando un plan de explotación y, de, y, y al final de retorno de, de la inversión que ellos han realizado en, en los puertos de Guinea Ecuatorial. This explains the construction of the highway from the coastal city of Bata to Mongomo, the last town on the border with Gabon, allowing agile and safe passage of large volumes of goods from the port of Bata. Both the port of Bata and the port of Malabo have been renovated. The port of Bata alone now has capacity for 6 million tons and over 250,000 containers per year. These two ports have become key trade assets for Western Central Africa. Avec cette port, euh, il peut diminuer le prix des marchandises qui sont importées avec son efficacité. Ça, je pense que c'est une contribution très importante pour toute la, toute la société. Et puis. Euh, dans la région, je pense que euh, le port de Patra, maintenant, pour son capacité, c'est très avancé dans la, dans, dans la région. Euh, il peut bien servir pour le développement de la CIMEC. Par exemple, maintenant, euh, Centrafrique, au C-Chat, ils ont eu des problèmes de. de importation, exportation. Le port de Patra peut bien servir aux besoins des de autres pays de Sénac. Donc le, le port de Patra, son capacité sont très avancées par rapport aux le, autres ports qui sont situés sur la côte de l'Ouest. Donc ça veut dire que la Guinée équatoriale, il a gagné une position très avancée par rapport aux autres pays. Là, dans le futur développement, dans la future concurrence, donc il, il a une place bien positionnée. Evidentemente, las infraestructuras portuarias han permitido una evolución en el sector marítimo, eh, ha permitido que podamos pasar de buques más pequeños a buques más grandes, 
así como eh, la principal ventaja para el cliente que es el cambio en el servicio. Hemos pasado de tener servicios eh, mensuales o quincenales a, a servicios semanales. The recent oil price lump coincides with an anticipated decline in output from aging oil fields. This has put pressure for a faster diversification in this sector, with new agreements signed for new exploration blocks and very promising forecast. The most remarkable forecast is the floating liquefied natural gas project, the first in Africa. Gas is the new protagonist in the equatorial Guinean hydrocarbon sector and petrochemicals is the new direction. Immediate projects to be implemented by the government include the creation of the Technological Institute of Petroleum in Mongomo, which will serve as the leading training and learning center for petrochemical professionals in the country. The integrated petrochemical complex in Riaba, designed to obtain products such as ammonium and phosphates, the construction of Biote, Bioko oil terminal, for the production of petroleum derivatives, and the new gas plant for local consumption and electricity generation in Bata, the largest city in the continental area. But the industrialization efforts do not stop here. The Ministry of Mines, Industry and Energy has recently signed six memoranda of understanding with Chinese companies which include agreements to carry out studies for the development of the new industrial city of Mbini. In fact, the Equatorial Guinea hydrocarbon sector is shifting towards a growing share of gas, as well as production of petrochemicals. Las empresas chinas, las empresas de Malasia y otros, llevan tiempo que están colaborando con Guinea Ecuatorial. Y de lo que, pues, al ser para nosotros un buen mercado, una zona, que se entiende mucho con Guinea Ecuatorial, yo creo que ya he citado dos, pues pueden venir más porque prácticamente van a encontrar una colaboración ciega, una colaboración muy positiva para con ellos, porque Guinea Ecuatorial de verdad necesitamos de este tipo de empresas. Gracias a, a los acuerdos llegados recientemente entre el gobierno de Guinea Ecuatorial y el gobierno de China para, para la inversión en, en la industrialización, eh, van a aportar mayor actividad a, a los puertos de Guinea Ecuatorial y, por tanto, a los operadores portuarios. Al final, al fin y al cabo, eh, toda la mercancía eh, que vaya a entrar en Guinea Ecuatorial, o la mayoría de ella, va a entrar eh, por los puertos y, por tanto, va a, a, a producir un aumento en la actividad. Las relaciones entre Guinea Ecuatorial y el continente asiático eh, van en aumento. Eh, esta relación ha ayudado a Guinea Ecuatorial a posicionarse en este continente y a ser conocida como un país en desarrollo y un país con muchas posibilidades de inversión. Para las afueras de la sociedad, nos, nos somos obligados a reflexionar qué es lo que podemos hacer en los otros sectores. Pero según nuestra prioridad, Nous devons toujours suivre le programme du gouvernement. Par exemple, le gouvernement, ils ont un programme aussi au-delà du de, 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 de pétrole dans le domaine de l'énergie. Ils voulaient développer dans, sur le domaine de l'agriculture, euh, industrielle, aussi tourisme. Indeed, tourism is one of the key sectors for Equatorial Guinea's economy diversification strategy. The aim is to become one of the leading conference and business travel destinations in Africa, as well as a key adventure tourism competitor. Adventure tourism allows Equatorial Guinea to showcase its 17 untapped tourism hotspots, including national parks and protected areas. The country's growing hotel infrastructure includes the Accor Group with four hotels, two Sofidel properties and two Ibis properties in Malabo and Bata. Opportunities lie in providing additional activities for visitors. What is very important here with the project that the government has built here is really this combination of golf course, 18 holes golf course, five towers hotel, private beach, private island in front of the beach. So this is a very uh, concept that you cannot find somewhere else in, uh, in Central and West Africa. Golf uh, is a good way 
to come here and to discover the, the country, the golf course, and uh, what Equatorial Guinea can, can offer. Equatorial Guinea has recently gained international acclaim as organizer of the African Cup of Nations in 2012 and 2014. It has also hosted the African Union Summit twice in 2012 and 2014, as well as other prestigious international conferences and meetings. As the only Spanish-speaking country in Africa, Equatorial Guinea is part of the organization of Ibero-American states. With French as its second official language, Equatorial Guinea is also part of the Organization for Francophonie and just recently added Portuguese as its third official language, when the Republic became a full member of the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, CPLP. We do have an average of 2.5 languages. Everybody in Equatorial Guinea speaks either English, French, Spanish, and now even Portuguese. So clearly it gives a very easy enticement for any investor to come because they're going to be able to speak your language. You are not forced to immediately speak only one language. Equatorial Guinea has also made a place for itself on the international scene through initiatives such as donations to the Global Partnership for Development FAO, the single largest contribution to date and the contribution made to the World Health Organization for the fight against Ebola. In the field of research, the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare, along with technical partners from the US and Tanzania, has initiated the first clinical trial in the country for a promising malaria vaccine. The research is co-funded by the government and two oil companies as part of a multi-country effort. These new social investments are a vital part of the Horizonte 2020 development plan along with new foreign direct investment avenues, such as the $1 billion co-investment fund, which is fed by state budget surpluses and aimed to facilitate public-private partnerships. We are building highways, we are investing in the roads, we are investing in the, in the airports, in the ports, in the banking system. So whenever the oil and gas will deplete, we still have, we have enough infrastructure so we can continue. El impacto de, de, del desarrollo de Guinea Ecuatorial a, a nivel más general, en lugar de centrarnos tanto en el sector portuario, pues eh, que nosotros notemos, por ejemplo, ha sido en la digitalización, en, en una mejora bastante grande en el, en el sistema bancario, en, en la agilidad que existe también para, para la documentación y para la documentación a todos los niveles y, y dentro del sector eh, del recurso humano, de lo, del personal, Eh, pues se nota una mejora en, en la formación eh, muy importante en, en, en los idiomas. Eh, la mayoría de los empleados hablan dos y tres idiomas. Una mejora en el personal en cuanto al compromiso, compromiso con la empresa y compromiso con, con los valores eh, de, de las empresas y, y compromiso por, por que el resultado sea positivo. The social impact of the Horizonte 2020 plan is yielding results. Between 1980 and 2013, Equatorial Guinea's life expectancy at birth increased by 12.1 years. The government has also reduced maternal mortality by 75%, reaching the Millennium Development Goals two years before the deadline set by the UN, according to the report by the World Health Organization from 2014. Additionally, the increased connectivity of the country will make important contributions. Better broadband internet to the entire country is now provided through a submarine fiber optic cable known as ACE, Africa Coast Europe, and the increased sea freight and the immediate free circulation of persons within the CMAC territory are expected to bring more competition and lower prices. Sofitel is really a luxury uh, hotel and, uh, and the um, position is really on, on luxury. It was very important in uh, Equatorial Guinea to have a luxury product. Um, why? Because now Equatorial Guinea with the, um, with the old business, I would say, they have money 
for also for investors to come and to develop the country in different uh, orientation. But when you are African country, a known African country, to attract people, you need also to show people, look already what we have. So when you have people from worldwide coming, business people that they invest millions of dollars worldwide, when they arrive in a destination like Equatorial Guinea, a small country that they never heard before, and they realize that there is a Sofitel in this country, a five-star hotel with giving the same service that you can find in London, in New York or in Paris, this is a good trend for them and a good understanding that this country is really moving forward. Mi principal eh, recomendación para un inversor potencial es que apueste por una presencia, una implantación en el país, una permanencia a largo plazo. Y por supuesto que se dote una, una buena información del entorno y unos buenos interlocutores. Todas las infraestructuras son de après. Esa es la base. Y luego, la segunda sens es que el gobierno tiene una fuerte euh, voluntad para desarrollar el sector, el nuevo sector. Yo creo que esa es la chance para los inversores. La transformación generada por su development plan is already palpable. Equatorial Guinea continues towards its now inevitable economy diversification and the consequent transformation into an emerging economy. The oil downturn has only expedited the journey of a nation aspiring to dazzle the world from the geographical heart of Africa.